Greetings, person currently watching this, and welcome back to Cthulhu Saves the World. So, before we begin... You know what, never mind, let's just, I'll walk and talk again. So, I just want to run through this for you, because I found this place off camera, but it was just... Alright, so, after I stopped recording, I wandered around the town a little bit. At some point, I went to the inn. Ooh, treasure chest. What is inside? Two one-ups. Those are not really useful. Anyways, I went to the inn. On the second floor of the inn, there was a guy. He looked exactly the same as everyone else in this game. When I talked to him, he told me that this place, the shrine, exists. And that apparently at the shrine is a... Oh dang, they got a lot of HP. At this shrine is something, uh, I think it's some water that, you know, can heal any disease. You know, that old chestnut. So I came here, and as soon as I got here, I met this guy named Daiquiri. I'm just going to call him Daiquiri, screw it. So I met Daiquiri here, who is either suffering from Alzheimer's, dementia, or just plain off his rocker. And really... It was just, we showed up, he said hi, and then Cthulhu said, join my party, and now he's fighting for us. I don't know if, you know, the, the whole thing about, why am I even talking? Why, I should be fighting. Oh my. So he's just straight up healer. That's interesting. Either way, it's just, I don't know if they just ran out of ideas for this area. Or because Cthulhu's, you know, the god of madness, they wanted the whole theme of things not making sense. Either way, I just... I wouldn't have found this area had I not just been wandering around. Right? Um, I don't know, by the looks of it, he's not going to be much help. Because he can't do a whole lot to fight. So, actually I might swap him out right now. May as well do that. Alright, um... Party... Just go... Those... Because this team I know works. Okay, so yeah, so we're here. We need to locate... The... Probably the top of the shrine. Or some shrine. Inside of this place. Get water from it. Probably fight a boss before we can do that. Get the water, bring it back to town. Probably heal everybody from... Whatever that disease is and get some hero points, and then go on to the next area. But until then, we have to get through here. And go through all these battles. Alright, what are you guys? Aqua hands? Well, they ain't got that much HP, so that's good. I don't know if Flame Strike's gonna do a whole lot to them, considering that, you know, their name is Aqua Hand, and this is Fire. Either way, alright, so, Shield Plague, get them all, he will Ice Strike, and she will Quake. Alright, he goes down, they do their little attacks. Alright, Quake, there, alright, yeah, we can just do regular attacks, take care of them. And there we go, good. Oh, hey. Pardon me. Daiquiri got a level. What can he get? Drain Plus. Which adds life drain to his regular attack. That's okay. Or increase his magic. Well, by the looks of it, he's meant to be a healer. So, him attacking probably isn't really desirable. So let's just give him more magic. Because that should... I don't know. Every game has a different definition of what magic does. Some games, it just makes their magic attacks hit harder. Other games, their mana pool, you know, how much mana they have, that gets bigger. And some games, it does both of those. And actually, I think in, um, oh, hey, there's some stairs over there. I wonder what that means. Oh, well, um, I'm going to end this rant here. 
because I'm out of time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Bye.